Hi, I'm Christopher Cork. I am a lead systems designer in charge of 3Cs at Quantic Dream Montreal. So 3C stands for camera, character, and controls. It's really um, the moment you pick up the gamepad and you've got that character and they're responding to all of your uh, little inputs and directions and it feels like the barrier between yourself and the game fades away and you just, you are in the space. That's what 3Cs does. It's almost the entirety of our job is erasing that barrier between you and the video game. A uh, lead systems designer is in charge of a group of people who really take one part of the game and make it the best that they possibly can. So a lead systems designer is really a senior designer mixed with a bit of management. We are product owners who are largely in charge of multidisciplinary strike teams devoted to pushing forward and polishing one key aspect of a game. I started as a programmer, uh, one of the other guys started as a level designer. We have one who started as a game designer on what we call ARGs, augmented reality games. So that's what's interesting about being a lead systems designer, there is no one path. In fact, most lead systems designers come from a multidisciplinary background. The initial spark for me to join the gaming industry was actually the Halo 3 blog. I can't downplay how meaningful it was to me, I didn't even realize before stumbling across that on the internet that, you know, I, I thought it was just a bunch of people in cubicles. And then when you're reading it, you're hearing about not only the stuff they do at work, but also they were having Guitar Hero competitions and they were talking about, you know, having prop people coming in and seeing the actual weapons from their own game. And it was just like, this could be a job. Like, Working with Paris, just the fact that for example, the game director and associate game director are over there, but then the lead systems designers are here. There's that time gap and the culture gap. So I would say that it's actually one of the biggest challenges. It's actually one of the main reasons I joined is because the job requires a lot of, and I'm going to invent a word, adaptabilitude, because it really stresses the point that being very adaptable and very able to just change processes, even ones that you've become used to over the last 10 years, but just to, to break out of those and try something new is one of the key indicators of success on our job. By far the easiest part of my job is the people I get to work with. The amount of expertise in Paris is just mind-boggling. And then the people we have here, there's a bunch of old veterans that I've worked with for ages now, and really you feel like you're getting to play with the A-listers here. trying to be as polyvalent as possible while maintaining an eye out for what your speciality is. Because honestly, in AAA, everyone develops a speciality, a, a niche, something that's unique to them, but you don't want to be a one-hit wonder either. So you want to be able to adapt and learn constantly, and most importantly, you know, have fun with it, because we're here to make games, and if you're not having fun, neither will the people playing them. Awesome. Video games are something my mom said I could never make a living at. <laughs>